And you're always looking for that grade of execution. You can get a plus three or a minus three. So when you fall, you automatically know this is not going to be that good. I'm not going to get a plus one or plus two. She is here competing on behalf of Japan. Please welcome to the ice, Satoko Miyahara. Final words, I guess they're encouragement, certainly motivation as Satoko Miyahara steps onto the ice. 17 years old from Kyoto, Japan. Big moment last year, the 2015 World Silver Medalist. Said though she loves coming back to compete in the U.S. Her parents from Kyoto, both doctors, they were here when she was a kid. Actually was in Houston until she was six, went to kindergarten, first grade, learned to skate in the U.S. She is so soft-spoken. Even in practice, she doesn't like the limelight. She likes to stay undercover, doesn't talk to many people. But all of a sudden, when it's time to compete, she flips it on and she pulls out these triple-triples and clean programs. And she's very consistent. What she lacks in height on these jumps, she makes for uh, makes up for in a quick rotation, beautiful opening, triple lutz, double toe, double loop. wonderful about this step sequence is that it really flows and folds into the program. It's not a jutting stop in the choreography just so that you can get in the required steps. She really has folded it into the program. with her component scoring. She's worked so hard on that this season, and I see a difference. There's more command, and she's connecting with the audience. And it's really hard because she's so tiny, so she has to emote that much more. She mentioned Tara actually practicing with her coach facial expressions. Almost, uh, you have to be an actress on some level in this sport. You have to tell a story. Taking ballet as well, spent part of the summer in California working with Ilya Kulik, the 98 Olympic champ, work on the timing and height over jumps. Slipped off her toe pick on that take up of the triple Lutz. What the judges are looking for too is rotation. You have to fit in those three rotations before that blade hits the ice. It has to be completely backwards or you'll get deducted and get an under rotation. And if it's more severe, a downgrade. You lose a lot of points. valuable double axle triple tolu combination at the end of the program that means you get a 10 percent bonus once it reaches the halfway mark
once again, consistent. That program didn't blow me away. She's not the be best technician. She doesn't have the greatest skating skills, but she just goes out there, does her job. Once she again, doesn't make too many Japan. mistakes, and that's why she's so always staying up with the top of the pack. But she does do what she does, but she needs to do more to really compete and take over that, that top spot. In third after the short program, trying to win here, Satoko Miyahara. Down to the final two then, and the American hopes resting on the shoulders of Gracie Gold. So those final moments as a skater, and not the easiest, I guess. Course, you talked about them. The final thoughts from your coach, and you're thinking about what so you're going to do, and you don't have a chance to do it yet. Japan, Longtime coach Mie Hamada was a skater himself. So 122.95, the number. And that puts her in first place with two to go. Terry, you know what she tweeted out today? I am meaner than my demons. So hopefully she can overcome the fear that plagues her every time she takes the ice at a competition. Gracie Gold tweeted that. Yes, she did. Ready to go.